So we recently took a trip out of town and we wanted to stop to grab some dinner and I checked the internet for a little Thai restaurant to see if there were any in our area and we found the nicest Thai restaurant, all five star reviews. And so I saw this little salad on their menu called a beef salad. And of course I gave it a try. So here's a picture of it and it was really good. Had a lot of unusual flavors in it, very tart dressing, big chunks of beef. So I went home and this is what I made and very similar to it. I experimented with a lot of them different recipes and I looked at a lot of things online to give me some ideas on how to put this together. So one of the main flavors uh, was mint and it I had some beautiful apple mint growing in the garden so I picked a little bit of that along with some cilantro and I talked to the lady that owned the restaurant to ask her about some of the flavors that were in the salad and so she gave me some pointers. She said she also uses lemongrass and so I grabbed a stalk of lemongrass and then up to my container garden I had some scallions growing left over from last year's garden. They overwintered great so I grabbed one of those. So now it's time to put the salad together and one of the components is called uh, toasted rice and I'm using a sweet rice here that I picked up at the Asian market. You can also use a jasmine rice. I'm making two cups so I'll have it for future salads and on about medium to medium high heat I need to toast this for uh, about really I think it took me about 10 minutes. You want to get a nice golden dark golden color on there. It will be very very hot. That pan's going to be so hot um, it burned my cutting board. It might even mess up a good pan. So make sure you let it cool first because we need to coarsely grind this. Don't grind it all the way to a powder uh, just about so it looks about like this and so that's the crunchy component of the salad and I just set that aside I keep it on my counter and then I needed some lime juice some fresh lime juice I juiced about a third of a cup of uh, the juice also added two teaspoons of light brown sugar and um, if you if you're limes are really tart add a little bit more sugar and I like it a little spicy so I added about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and then two tablespoons of a high quality fish sauce and we just want to dissolve that sugar right down in there and I remembered that I had an old Thai cookbook like 30 years old I think that's something I picked up at a tag sale or something like that and in there I saw that this lady had a dressing very similar to what I tasted at the restaurant. Um, she does not have lemongrass in her dressing though, but that's pretty much what I used as a guideline to make this dressing, except now I'm also adding lemongrass. So I just took the bottom portion of that lemongrass. I put it in my coffee grinder, pulverized it good, and now about a tablespoon of lemongrass right in here. Now I don't use this all the time. I've, as, a matter, as a matter of fact the only time I've used lemongrass in the dressing was for this video. It is really not a necessary component of the salad dressing and this can go in the refrigerator for a couple of salads. I'll use about a quarter of a cup per salad. So I like to make those two things ahead of time so when I'm ready to make the salad it won't take any time at all. So I'm using a flat iron steak and I need to trim away just some of the fat there and then we want to cut this into about one inch strips against the grain. You can see how the grain runs on a flat iron very easily and do it about one inch thick, no thinner. And we want to salt this liberally on both sides and then just let it come to room temperature while we prepare the rest of the ingredients for the salad. So I did see some recipes where people would use flank steaks. That might be a little bit tough, but they would also marinate them and like in soy sauce. But I tried soy sauce and I just did not really like that. I really like just putting a little salt on the outside and just keeping it simple. So I'll just put those on the side here, bring those to room temperature while I prepare the ingredients for the salad. So I have my mint, my scallions, the cilantro, and I just cut the red onion into half moons and then they had some cucumbers. So I encourage you to kind of make this your own like I'm doing. Now I do remember at the restaurant they used lettuce. They didn't use cucumbers but I love the flavor of beef and cucumbers so I am using cucumber and of course some of these really crispy lettuce leaves. 
cooked. And now we can cook the steak. And I'll just put about a tablespoon of oil in here and coat the pan. And I'm on about medium high heat here. And we want to cook these really fast. Sarah, get a good, nice sear on these steaks, okay? And it shouldn't take long at all. Don't leave them a walk away. Make sure you have a little space in between so they don't crowd each other and poach. And don't cover the pan. Uh, we want to get a nice color going on here. As a matter of fact, um, I try to get all sides surface area with some color because that's where there's a lot of flavor. Okay? And then just remove them when you've got all the sides done there and set it aside so it can rest. Let it rest for about five to ten minutes. And I put my salad together while it was resting. Um, and then I put some of the toasted rice on there along with a couple of tablespoons of the dressing. And now I'm going to put some of the toasted rice also on the beef. And so I like to cut the beef like this with some kitchen shears into little bite-sized pieces. So you want to make sure that you cook this medium rare. And don't forget the little drippings left over from where the steak rested. Put those on there as, as well. And you might want to drizzle a little bit more dressing on here. Make sure you do not cook that steak any more than medium rare though. Because once you start to get up to medium and then you've added this lime juice dressing. Remember there's no oil in that dressing either. It's very light and refreshing. Very tart. You know, it's it's an unusual flavor combination. But once you add that lime juice, it's going to denature some of the proteins in that steak and cook it even more. And then it will end up chalky. So keep it on the medium rare side. It has a really nice texture. So I hope you can give this salad a try soon. It's a great way to use your garden produce. Uh, tomatoes, I've used those in here before. Uh, just be creative, but make sure you have the beef the dressing, and the toasted rice, and then everything else will fall into place. If you have any questions, please leave them down below the video. I'll be more than happy to try to help you. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.